So you want to get started podcasting, live streaming, maybe even doing a little YouTube channel like you're seeing here. Well, if you want to do that, it can cost you thousands and thousands of dollars to get set up with just audio equipment alone. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your audio equipment needs out of the way for under $100 with this Monoprice kit. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Now when we open up this unit, what you're going to notice is that this really comes with everything you need to start your audio journey. It comes with the microphone, of course, and it comes with a few attachments that connect to your scissor arm, which really just connects your microphone to it and allows you to attach that to a desk and move it back and forth. So you can move it out of the way when you're not using it and bring it close to you when you do need it. It really is a huge saver and something I put on all of my equipment. It does come, of course, with headphones as well, which you can plug right into the microphone. Now, the USB cable that's supplied goes directly through the scissor mount. But as you can see, really, it comes with everything you need to get started. And that's what's so cool about this kit. You don't need to go buy anything else. Most of the time when you get a microphone like this, which is a condenser microphone, it comes with a little stand that you stick on your desk. And that's not typically the best because you want that microphone real close to your face to get rid of those reflections in your room and to make sure that they're hearing you and not everything else around you. So in order to do that, they included this scissor mount, which allows you to bring the microphone closer to your face or further away when you're not using it. And that is a really nice touch. Now, like I said, it does come with some headphones too. There's no buttons on the headphones. They just plug directly into a jack. And you're probably wondering, well, why is there no volume control on it? That's because all the volume control is done right there on the microphone. And there's three things you should really know about this. The first thing is that when you plug it in, it's gonna turn a bright red light. Now, this bright red light is actually a button. That button is the mute button. You just tap that once and it will mute it. You tap it again and it will unmute it. It also has a gain control for your microphone. So you can turn that up if you need to be louder or turn it down if you need to be quieter. And the last one is your volume control for your headphones. So once you plug your headphones into it, you can adjust that so that you can get your volume level of your headphones right. And that really does make a big difference when you're live streaming because if you're live streaming and you want to turn your volume down on your headphones, having a quick, easy dial to turn that down is really important. You don't want to be messing with your keyboard when you don't need to. The headphones themselves are actually really comfortable. If you take a look at them, they're a nice foam over the ear headphones. So they go over your ear, which is very important because it blocks out most of the other noise around you. Now they're not true like noise canceling or anything like that, but it does do a good job of getting rid of most of the background noise around you. Of course, if you're in a really noisy place, you're gonna hear background noise almost no matter what. Some people like these to be really even on their head. And I think that's really important if you're live streaming and people see it, you don't want one side to be a little bit longer than the other. And so they included a little bit of ruler measurements on either side so that you can tell that the left side and right side are exactly equal. So when you put them on, the metal on either side looks exactly the same. And that might not seem like a big deal, but I'll tell you when you're live streaming, people will comment on the silliest things. And so this is actually kind of cool. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about its performance. So the microphone works flawlessly. As soon as I plugged it up, my computer noticed it and switched right over to it. The gain worked incredibly well and also plugging up the headphones to it. I mean, everything just worked. There was nothing that I could say that was wrong with it. As far as the scissor mount goes, I was really impressed with the quality of the scissor mount. I think the scissor mount is one of the better scissor mounts that I have personally used, especially for coming with the kit. The microphone itself, I think is very admirable. It works a really good job. Now it's not to be confused with a high dollar, very expensive 200 plus dollar microphone, but for someone getting into this, it's more than enough than what someone would need. Now, as far as the headphones, they work flawlessly for what they're intended for. They're intended for just this purpose, you know, live streaming. This doesn't have like hi-fi audio file sound. You might want to go switch to something a little bit nicer than that. But honestly, if you're doing that already, you probably already have those headphones. These headphones are really just for those people that don't have anything yet and want to get started with everything all at once. And for that, 
it, it excels. Honestly, I felt like the headphones were, were comfortable. I felt like the microphone worked really well. Overall, I think the kit is a really good buy for someone that wants to get started on this journey and doesn't want to spend a lot of money right away. And I would say that if that is you, then I would go ahead and purchase this type of kit. So if you're one of those people that have been watching the channel that have been considering starting a YouTube channel or starting a podcast, this is probably one of the kits that I would recommend for you if you're not wanting to spend a lot of money. All right, guys. This is Toyd's DIY Audio, and I'm out. Yeah, so that's the end. Although, if you want to hear more podcasts, check us out, me and DIY Audio Guy, and for the time being, High Five Vega, on Sound Advice at Mondays at 7 p.m. This week, we're actually going to be at my channel, so I'm going to go ahead and host that, and I'm really excited to see what will come from that. We're going to have a special guest on there, Aaron from Aaron's Audio Quarter. It's going to be really cool to have him on there. And also, I have a new plan on my website. It's basically the W5 1138 SMF, one of my favorite small subwoofers, paired with a big passive radiator. And that thing can hit hard. It is the best I have heard, the W5 1138 SMF. So if you are a fan of that subwoofer, if you're a fan of the Dynas, if you're a fan of those types of things and you're looking for a small subwoofer, check out those plans. I think you'd really like those. All right, guys, I have nothing else for you this week. This time I am... Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I think I'm... Yeah, I'm out. I'll see you guys later.